Hello and welcome to my gradient picture tutorial, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, as you can see, basically I'm going to show you how to turn a picture into a gradient picture type thing. Or whatever this is that I did. Um, first thing you're going to need, of course, is a regular picture. I'm going to use this picture that I edited in the photo edit tutorial. So, let's go ahead and start. Um, the first thing you want to do is, of course, pick your picture. <laughs> then you want to go ahead and turn it to black and white, which I'm going to do using the Optic Verbs um, plugin. And I'm going to use the flashback setting. Now, another way to turn your picture black and white without using a plugin would be to go to adjust, hue and saturation, colorize, and set both things to zero. And you have your black and white picture. Okay, next you want to go ahead and make a new layer. So, right click on your picture and go up to a new raster layer. And click OK. Next, go ahead and pick your flood fill tool and choose your gradient. Which I am going to blindly pick one, so I'm going to just random, random, uh, to yellow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a rainbow. How about that one? I'm going to do this rainbow. Okay, once you've picked your gradient, go ahead and flood fill on that new layer. Next thing you want to do is you want to change the blend mode. So go over here to where it says normal, click on the drop down menu, and change your blend mode. Now there's two blend modes that work really well with this. Um, the first one would be screen, which is what I used in this gradient picture. And the second one would be overlay, which I used here. So it all depends on the picture and what you're really going for. Now you can also try other blend modes like color or hue, doesn't really work. Lighten, you can try soft light, whatever works for you. I pretty much play around with the settings until I find one that I like. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to do screen. Maybe lower the opacity a bit. There we go. Okay, next we're going to add the little dot effect. So just go up to your effects. And for this, you're going to need the Penta plugin, which you can get for free, actually. You can just search. Um, you can go to penta.com and get it. And I'm going to use the color dot setting. I have it set to 92 and then 255 on all here. I'm pretty sure that is the standard setting because I don't really change it. So just click OK. And there you go. You have your gradient. Now you can also do this without turning the picture black and white. So, let me show you. And it will come out looking something like this. In which case you can also try doing a different blend mode. Because the, the picture has color. And that's pretty much it. From there on you can just go crazy, you know, add text and stuff which I'm not going to. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. So, have a good one.